everything all right? Let me see. A night of passion, followed by a full English, all served up by the gorgeous blonde who manages my local. What red-blooded bloke wouldn't think he'd died and gone to heaven, eh? Well, I'm not doing so badly either. Last night was really special. All the better for the way. Yeah. Feels good being able to trust again. I just wish my mum could come to terms with her. I hope she's gonna be all right on her own. Don't worry. Time's a great healer. Once she's sorted her hair out, she'll be in touch. Oh! I didn't know we were expecting company. You're looking radiant this morning, Betty. Yeah. After a brew, are you? No, no. I've got to open up the yard. Uh, right. I shall see you later. Don't leave it too long. Mm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Bye, Betty. Ta-ta. I have thought about this, you know. Mm. After everything that happened with me, Mum, well, I need him. Well, yeah, it seems very nice. A word to the wise. Over the years, I've seen too many feet go under this table too quickly. A pretty face and a pub don't attract the right fella. Are you trying to poison us or what, Roy? <clears throat> Apologies. I'll see to it straight away. What's up? I neglected to prick the young man's Cumberland. Consequently, it's undercooked. Mm. Can't say I'm surprised. You've been miles away all morning. Don't the matter. Oh, far from it. Uh, actually, uh, things couldn't be better. Why? What's happened? Everything comes to those that wait, but you make sure you're home promptly this evening and all will be revealed. Right, well, you can't do that to me. I'm going to be on pins at work. Well, highly appropriate for a garment factory. <laughs> <sighs> Go on. <laughs> you are a tease very cropper. Anybody ever told you that? Uh, no, no, but I, I find it a strangely comforting epithet. <laughs> Excuse me. Ready soon. Mm. Oh, just a moment. Listen, Donna, this probably some need to are wondering where I am. Come on, it's nearly 12 o'clock. Irresponsible for once in your life. No, 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 no. Yo! Hmm? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's uh, Devendra Alhan, right? Yeah. No, stop it. Hmm? Oh, no, no, it's fine. I've, uh, I've picked him up yesterday. Yeah. Why, what's the, uh... Uh, well, no, I mean, I suppose I could, uh, come in sometime tomorrow. It's... Right, um, is there anything, um... Right, I'll be over there shortly. Yeah. Bye. Who is that? Um, doctor surgery. The rest of my results are in. Oh, I thought you got them already. Yeah, so did I. Was something wrong? Uh, well, they didn't say, but they want me to uh, go and collect them today. So. Well, what's the hurry? Why can't it wait till tomorrow? Hey, look, if it was anything serious, then one day wouldn't make a difference, would it? No, it's probably just uh, a mix-up. Look, I saw the locum yesterday, right? It's probably my own quack isn't up to speed. Oh, that must be it. Yeah. I mean, if they want a second opinion, I can tell them you're as fit as a fiddle. Thirty-year-old one at that. Mm -hmm. But well, about time, me and the lad have been waiting for some scram, haven't we? He's been going flat out in that garage all morning, and, and I've been. And I bet doing... you've been flat out on their bare looks of things. Well, them days are over. Ta da! What the hell is that? Cycling yeah. shorts, and I've got a map, and, and I've got a book of trails. I am going to plot the most scenic route from here to Cleethorpes. And they say the moors are beautiful this time of year. You were going out with your tiny mind, woman. Now, listen here. That doctor said it'll work wonders. You'll feel good and you'll look good. Hey, you could look like this. Yeah, don't you want a body like that? To show off in Rovers? That won't be the only damn thing I'll be showing off if I put these on. It'll be like, 
like a, a, a pound of loose oranges. <laughs> Over right sap sobers, you mean. <laughs> and then I'll stick your bike on the map and we'll move it along each night, show how far you've pedalled. I'll tell you where you can stick that bike, and I don't need a grid reference. And I'm not doing it! We'll see. Where are you going? And what about my dinner? I'm standing in for Roy, aren't I? Now, look, you'll have to make your own. Only make some at light. You don't be cycling on a full stomach. Now, what do you want? I, I won't incommode you any longer than necessary. H have your annulment papers come through yet? Oh, uh, well, not that I remember, but let me think. There was, um, catalogue, mobile phone bill. Oh, and a postcard. I, I don't her. understand it. Mine came through this morning. You should have received yours, too. Oh, so you mean we're still married? You know, maybe this is a sign, Roy. Maybe we've been too hasty. What? Well, maybe we should forget about the past. Move on. You know, I'm game and, uh, well, you're looking mighty fine today. Yes, sir. You're joking. <sighs> Nothing gets past you, does it, Roy? Don't get your wife fronts in a twist. Papers came this morning. I'm no longer Mrs. Roy Cropper, and I am grateful of that. Well, rest assured, the feeling is mutual. Well, that doesn't take long. Didn't it? No, I, uh, I lost track. So what's the verdict? <sighs> Dev? The locum, uh, he'd uh, made a mistake. The test results, they weren't complete. And? <sighs> they found something wrong, haven't they? Haven't they? Maya, let's calm down. Oh, this is all my fault. I should never have made you take those stupid tests in the first place. No, it's, it's always best to know. To right? know what? Tell me what? Dev! To know, uh, <laughs> to know that everything's um, okay. You're all right. Uh, slightly um, anemic, you know, but nothing for you to um, worry about. I'm fine. Oh, thank heaven! Promise me you will never scare me like that again. No. <laughs> I don't know what I do without you. Yeah, good. Oh, cheers, mate. OK. Is your boss not coming in this lunch time? No, I think he's having a break from hot pot. I can't get enough of it. So any time he's not around, Shell, you can always rely on me. Bet he sees to the hot pot, Jason. You know, he plays these games with your mother. You don't have to start on you next, do you? Oh, don't be daft, Betty. Mm. Oh, uh... Good afternoon, Kenneth. I, I was just wondering if I might pick your brains, as that fellow said to Trotsky. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just about to get some lunch, actually. Well, I won't keep you. Only I, I've been researching the paranormal. Oh, it's a wonderful tome, this. The tale of the Bolton Banshee is enough to make your hair curl. What hair? You uh, might have known uh, that uh, we have an eerie presence in the cabin. Aye. I don't know why Rita keeps you on. And I'm holding a seance, you see, to exorcise it. And I, I just wondered if you might know of anything I might need. <sighs> well, I don't know much beyond bell, button, candle, I'm afraid. Um, incense, perhaps? Or a, a priest, of course? Yes, yes. Well, I was going to enlist the local vicar, but uh, Emily put the kibosh on that. Uh, apparently, she doesn't believe in the forces of evil, despite living next door to Les Battersby. <laughs> <laughs> well, Emily's probably very wise. Best not to dabble in these things, you know. The mind can play some strange tricks. Have you thought about going on holiday? I thought you were more enlightened than that, Kenneth. Folk like you have persecuted those with sight down the ages. You'd, you'd had the likes of me burnt at the stake. <laughs> those were the days. I take it you won't be joining me to me tonight. <sighs> well, it's not quite my cup of tea. I'll come to your little seconds, Norris. There's a few people I'd like to have a natter with. No, thank you. I'm not holding a bingo club reunion. I'm trying to commune with the spirit of Vera Lomax. You won't make a circle with just two people. Yes, well, well, all right, then. I'll, I'll see you in here tonight. Oh, I wouldn't get involved if I were you. What? You must be joking. I wouldn't miss Norris making a fool of himself for all the world. This one or the next.
normally put tin soup on there. You what? Those are pineapple chunks. You're right. You okay? You've only said two words since this morning. I'm uh, I'm fine. <coughs> have, you, have you got any incense, Dev? What? You know, you know the the, the smelly stuff. Yeah, look, I, I know what it is. Try the second shelf, Norris. Oh. Air freshener. I need something for an exorcism. I mean, fruits of the forest might banish lingering odours, but they're hardly likely to see off the undead. Well, what do you expect, Norris? This is the corner shop, you know? And if you don't like what we sell here, then please, you know, find somewhere else. In fact, I insist. Oh, sir, Michelle. I think your boss needs some lessons in customer relations. I said get out! I don't have the time to wait on the likes of him, all right? I don't have the time. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing, all right? I said I'm fine. I don't believe you. This is me you're talking to, Dev. <laughs> I went to the doctor's. It was just a, a, a routine checkup, you know, just routine. That's what I thought. What does that mean? They found something. Oh, nothing, um, definitely, you know, probably nothing, but, you know, they have to, to cover their backs, you know. They need to, um, carry out some more tests. For what, Dev? Please. Cancer. They think I might have bowel cancer. Prime, please, gorgeous. Jason tells me you've gone off up, Paul. No, I just wanted to have a shower and get changed before I saw you again. I am taking note, I forgot it. Mm, that's two pounds then, thanks. Uh, ale's the one thing that's not on the house. Never expected it to be. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pity we're gonna have to share our night with this lot, though. We don't have to. As soon as it gets quiet, we'll go through to the back if you like. Mm. And, uh, and, and, and Betty's coming as well, so that'll make four. Norris, the only ghosts that are in that stock room are last year's Halloween masks. Then how do you explain the unearthly smell and the cold chills I get? No, no, I tell you, Rita, I've felt the cold, gnarled fingers of the supernatural on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, who's jumpy tonight? Well, can you blame me? It's bad enough having lost souls sneaking up on me without you. The seance still on? Yes. Yes, everything's prepared. We just have to wait for the sun to go down. Time for a livener. Rita? Oh, a vodka and tonic, please, love. Oh, well, under the circumstances, I'll have a scotch as well. That and they'll be the only spirits you see tonight. How many more times, Warren? I want no to do with it. Now to do with what? Look, I bought him an exercise bag. Only he's too thick-headed to get on it. Oh, I should. You need a bit more colour in your cheeks. The last chap I saw with your pallor had pennies on his eyes. <laughs> I'll see you off, you old buzzard. Hey, Jack! Luke, I am fighting. Fit me! Good do we losing a few pounds, Jack. You know, Shelley Jack, she can't help saying it like it is. However much it might hurt some people. No, no, this is all muscle, this. There's a six-pack under there, you know. A firkin, more like. <laughs> Take no notice, Jack. You've worked hard for that beer belly, mate. You should wear it like a badge of honour. So long as you don't start wearing it like a badge of honour. Oh, you have no worries there, love. Charlie doesn't look like the type to let himself go. Right, that's it tomorrow. I'm on the bike. And I shall be having fish and chips on the front of Cleethorpe before you know it. <laughs> hey, why don't you leave that? <sighs> and do... Uh, what? Why? understand if you need some time alone. Mm. Truth be told, I need some time myself. But you shouldn't keep this bottled up, so I'm here if you ever want to talk. Thanks, but uh, there's really nothing uh, to be said. I mean, you can't talk this thing away. I mean, you can't haggle with it. It won't do business, and it's going to do what it's going to do regardless. So... Which might be nothing. Chances are you're going to be perfectly OK. Well, great. Well, remind me, when did you become a cancer specialist, babe? Sorry. It's OK. I must have sounded pretty glib. No, it's, it's my fault. I mean, from where you are, there are only platitudes. Well meant, but no use. Um, I've got to face the worst, right? What does Brian think? 
I haven't told her. What? No, I'm not sure she could handle it. It's, um... You've got to put her in the picture, Dev. How would you feel if it was the other way around and she never gave you the chance to support her? Maya's in love with you. I've seen it in her face. That entitles her to the truth. If you love her, you'll tell her. <laughs> love her? She means more to me than, uh... more to me than this. Then tell her. Shelley! Oh. Shelley, love? She's just nipped down the shop. She won't be long. She invited you in here, did she? That's right. Well, she shouldn't have sold you that with top still on. She didn't sell it to me. It's from a fridge. Well, you're more than welcome to wait for her if you want. Is that Frankie Vaughan? <laughs> he of the golden tonsils, no left, left, left. Oh, oh come on, Roy, put me out my misery. I can't stand much more of this. Right. You can open your eyes. Oh, Roy! Oh, if I'd have known that I got dressed up. I think you look quite lovely enough. What's the occasion? Uh. <gasps> <gasps> it's over. Evening, Fred. Wasn't expecting you here. Obviously not. What do you mean? It's a rum do when I find the likes of Charlie Stubbs lording it in my own parlour. Now I'm gone. For a start, it's me who lives here, not you. So if it's anyone's parlour, it's mine. And I can have anyone I want back there. It's my name over that door. Yeah, but I'm the one who keeps the place running. Now, when my private life starts interfering with my work... But it has, though, hasn't it? I say it has. We've lost a damn good barmaid, your own mother, because of Casanova in yon. Now, instead of gallivanting about back here... I suggest you get up front and do some work. I know how to do my job. I am going to a Newton and Ridley junket in Brighton. I hope that the stuffing problems will be solved by the time I get back. Hmm? I feel I'm at a kid's party. Aye, and we all know who the kid is. Mm. Look, I had trouble getting a tablecloth and candles. I I've had to improvise out of our stock. Oh, you did? Oh, well, I hope you've paid for this lot. The money's already in the till. I I I'm trying to create a mood here. Now, let us all link hands. And breathe very deeply. Completely emptying our minds. <laughs> it's that easy for some than others. <laughs> now, repeat after me. Spirit of Vera Lomax. Spirit of Vera Lomax. We ask that you commune with us and move amongst us. We ask that you commune with us and move amongst us. And signify your presence. <laughs> oh, did you see his face? Whoever you paid, Rita, they've earned their money. Their timing was... was spot on. I didn't pay anybody anything. There's nobody else here. Where have you been? Oh, it's not that late, is it? Yes, it is. I've been waiting for you all night. You could have phoned. I'm sorry. Any more of that left? In the fridge. The reason I didn't call is because I wanted to give you the good news in person. I ran into an old workmate this afternoon. We went out for dinner. Yeah? Mm. She knows of a job coming up. She's going to put in a good word for me in the morning and let me know as soon as possible. Isn't that wonderful? <sighs> yeah, it's uh, great. Don't go overboard, will you? No, I'm just uh, starting to worry about you. That's why it's, it's, it's terrific. It is. You don't get this lucky every day. Cheers. So, how was your afternoon? Mm -hmm. 
Not the um, usual. You know. Look, what say you we go and celebrate, you know? Lunch tomorrow, somewhere nice. Well, I haven't got that job yet. Besides, I thought you were working. Yeah, well, some things are more important than work, no? Doesn't sound like the dev Alan, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought you wanted me to be a bit more irresponsible. Mm, absolutely. For your sake as much as mine. After all, you don't see, uh, I wish I'd spent more time at the shop carved on many tombstones. Mm. What's our love? Do you know I thought you were going to shut me out for a sec? It's gone closing. I know, well, I won't be a tick. Have you got any of them uh, sports drinks that bike riders use? In the fridge. It's just that I've got our jack on this exercise bike and... Oh, these are a mouth for energy boosting drink. I don't know, it used to be fine severe when we were courting, but now it just sends him to kip. It's 2.40, please. Well, that's a bit steep, isn't it? Still, there's no premium on your health, is there? Our oh, Jack hates exercise. I said to him, it's better to sweat now than tears later. Bye, love. Well, due to the football on Friday, when Italy take on Sweden, the next episode of Coronation Street will be on Sunday at 10 to 8. Next tonight, it's the ITV News, then at 11... I think I've been called over the years, amongst other things, um, the genial giant and um, the gentle giant. The tallest people in Britain.